the said teacher, it was my first um, year. Um, it was the first time that the school that I was in was having an integrated co-teacher classroom, an ICT classroom. So it was the first to kind of get it running and starting in the building. Do I feel like it was beneficial and supported? 50-50, I feel like um, we needed more resources in the building. Um, the thing, we had an integrated co-teaching specialist in the room, but some days I would meet with her, some days I didn't because I was always out for training. So that kind of sucked. And when you want your co-teachers to kind of fill you in on what, what, what they discuss, you know, you may have that co-worker that can't tell you anything like what was discussed. So it's kind of like, you have to hit up the specialist in order to kind of figure out what went on in the meeting. Um, another thing um, that was really hard for me this year is we had no grade team. And I know like, you know, not a lot of schools may or may not have a grade team um, leader per se. Um, when I started the school year, we had another first grade teacher. She's been teaching here for 15 years and she ended up leaving mid-year. And I should have got the sign when she left. But I didn't get the sign, y'all. I did not get the sign. So she ended up leaving. Um, so it was three first grade class. No, it was two first grade class. Um, me and my co-teachers was the ICT classroom. And then um, the teacher that had left, that was another first grade teacher. They ended up not finding another first grade teacher. So they had a sub in there all year long. And then it was me and um, my co-teacher. And me and my co-teacher was basically the team. And that kind of sucked because we're learning ourselves. Like, what are we supposed to be doing? Like, you know, how is it supposed to be ran? Like, things of that nature. So a lot of the time, we met with, like, the reading consultants. And we discussed things with them and the other um math specialists and things that will kind of come into the building. But even kind of getting support with that and, you know, being able to sit down and discuss, like, things with our students, um, our data, our workload, we never got to do that. Um, even, like, with um, my co-teacher, just, like, two different people. So that kind of sucked because just, like, you want to be in an environment where you're going to be planning with a group of people and you guys are really going to be getting in the nitty gritty of like, what is it that the kids do understand and don't? I feel like I didn't get that support there at the school. Um, what else? I told you guys about my mentorship um, prior previously before, like that was horrible. Um, you know, but overall, I think, Overall, it was an okay year, but um, one thing that I'm looking forward going into next year is I've been applying to schools because I'm really trying to get out of my district. No shade, but that district is not for me. And it's why I'm saying it's not for me is because after like me getting the experience that it that it was, I just realized it's th this is just not for me. I want to be in a school where students want to learn. They're there to learn. They're not there to just play fool around. Like, a lot of my kids who had IEPs, like, their parents were just like, oh, like, just dump it on the teacher. Like, no. Like, I had other, the older the older siblings doing their homework. Like, what the? It was just, you know, talking to the parents. Like, you know, I really constantly try to talk to them, open communication. It was just, like, in one ear and out the other you know, it got frustrating too because, you know, as a special education teacher, you know, you want to see your kids succeed, but it's hard when in the world of education that we live in, people think that, okay, if there's an, an integrated co-teaching classroom, it's two teachers that will give them support. Oh, I can put kids who are supposed to be in a 12-1-1 classroom in your ICT class. It does not work like that. You know, so that was one big thing that frustrated me because I had kids who was supposed to be in 1211 that was in my ICT class. And I'm like, are you serious right now? Like, 
So that was another thing. But like I said, in in, in I learned so much, y'all. I learned so much. Um, but I am looking to move to another district because I can't have another year that I had like this again. Um, I did do my organization sheet. Unfortunately, I didn't have um, that much of a choice per se. So it was either between ICT and self-contained. So um, if I end up going back to the school that I'm currently at now, I will be teaching self-contained kindergarten first and second grade um, with 12 students and most most likely there'll be paras in there. I don't know how many, but that's um, the class that I will be teaching. So I would still be on the first grade, grade team per se. Um, my co-teacher will be teaching general ed um, by himself. So yeah, we won't be together. And these other two teachers will be teaching um, ICT. So yeah, I've been applying to jobs you know, I've went to an interview recently, so I'm just hoping and praying that um, I get that job because the school is a very good school in an awesome district. Teachers are amazing. Their ratings was good. Um, when the superintendent came in, all the teachers was well-developed. Like, you know, sitting down with the principal, she did make me feel comfortable, letting me know that I'm supposed to be mentored for three years. That's something that I did not know. Um, so I'm learning and I actually researched it up because they noticed that a lot of young teachers are coming into the field and they're leaving um, in less than three to five years. So they want to make sure that, you know, the new teachers who are coming in, that they are getting the support that they need within the first three years. So that's something that I did like. That's something that I did not know. And I know if I end up staying back at the school where I'm at, I know I'm not going to get the support that I need. And I just don't want to have another year that I had this year. When I say it was rough, guys, I was crying, going up late to work. Like, there was days that I did not want to go in. It, it was just because I just did not want to deal with behaviors. I felt like I could barely teach. And it just got me so frustrated because it's so frustrating when you want to teach. And it's just like something. Yeah, you could do classroom management, behavior plans, all of this stuff. We did that. But it's just like... These kids was coming from these, you know, different backgrounds at home, like having to deal with things. Some of them came in, they didn't eat, they were angry, they were, were upset. So we had a lot of situations that we had to deal with. So, you know, it it, it was a lot. It, it was a lot, but um, it was one heck of a year. One heck of a year. Um, one heck of a year, guys. But I'm just, you know praying that wherever I go next year, whether it's um, maybe back at the school where I'm at now or if I'm at another school, I'm just praying that everything goes well and I just get the support that I need overall to just continue to grow as um, an educator. So I am reading some books over the summer. So I'm going to share some of those books with you guys in the next video. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, any concerns about how my first year went, please leave them down below or any concerns if you're going into your first year. Um, what are you nervous about? Like, um, yeah.